This is calculator question number 20 from practice test 5. It's also May 2016 SAT. College Board gives us a picture of a wheel rolling on the ground at a constant rate and a graph of some function d of t. And College Board asks us which of the following could d of t represent as a function of time from when the wheel began to roll. Choice A is the speed at which the wheel is rolling, but they say constant rate, so the graph of constant rate should be horizontal, and d of t is not horizontal. Choice A is wrong. Choice B is the distance, the wheel, distance of the wheel from its starting point. If you're moving at a constant rate, your distance from the starting point should be a line with a positive slope. This looks more sinusoidal, so choice B is wrong. Choice C is the distance of the mark on the rim from the center of the wheel. But the mark on the rim is a fixed distance from the center of the wheel, so that should also be a constant graph. And choice D, distance of the mark on the rim from the ground. If you visualize the wheel rolling after it moves half the circumference, this mark will be touching the ground and a full circumference, the mark will be back at the top. So choice D is an appropriate description for what D of T might represent. D would be the correct answer. College Board often asks you to interpret graphs in context. It is important to read slowly and carefully and check back to make sure that you've understood the question and the description properly. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.